A lovely morning to all the headed engineers and expertise. Welcome back to Sonnet Institute of Technology. My name is Bruce Malouds and it's a great pleasure to be your instructor for the headed certificate of expertise in high availability clustering video course. This is module one of the video course. In this video, I'll briefly explain to you on the EX436 exam. The general information is available on the Red Dead official website. The exam code is EX436 and during this video course I'll be using the um, Red Dead 7.0 machines. Please note that um, for the YAM repo I'll be using this image here. It's the CentOS CentOS 7.0.1406 uh, everything dot ISO. As a matter of fact, I'll show you where to download this ISO image. It's found uh, on this uh, URL. I'll take you and show you where you can download it from. So, in this particular uh, video course, the entire lab can be done inside VirtualBox, VMware, or even KVM. But I'll be using GNS3 for the purpose of demonstration. And if you can't use GNS3, please stick to VirtualBox, VMware, or KVM, or any other virtual virtualization software you feel comfortable with. And I will actually take a tour with you and show you the exam objectives and the minimum requirements and I'll also show you how to set up the lab so we'll start with three rated machines and since I'm using GNS3 I'll also show you how to add a second disk that disk should have at least 12 gig um, of free space so if you're using GNS3 make sure that the, this appliance here, the IPA server, is switched off prior to adding a second disk. But if you are using VirtualBox, VMware, or KVM, you can add a second disk. You can add a second hard disk without uh, switching off the uh, the VMware appliance. Meaning, you can add the second hard disk while the VM is running without wasting time. Let's take a tour to the internet. Okay, the first thing you need to do, let's check for the exam objectives. So, on Firefox or Google, I can search for EX436. That the first result you get is the uh, Reddit official exam link. So, as you can see here, so if I click there, This will take me to the official Reddit and I just need to select the country that will be South Africa in my case. Okay, so if I scroll down, um, okay, before I scroll down, the exam itself is three hours long and scroll down for more details uh, these are the exam objectives as you can see so you can go through on that uh, we need to create a cluster and vol logical volumes we need to create iSCSI initiators and targets okay so i recommend before you start studying have a look at the exam objectives make sure that uh, you get them right so let me show you where to get the ISO image the center 7 everything so um, it's found under HTTP uh, V vault which is VA LT dot centers dot org Okay, 
okay scroll down to version 7.0 right there 7.0.1406 click that uh, go to ISOs go to x86 scroll down uh, this is the ISO image you are looking for this one right here it's 6.6 .6 gig in size so please download that and use it for this entire lab so make sure your headed machines they are running the same code as the centos so if you if you have or you are running rated 7.1 please download the centos 7.1 if you are running rated 7.0 make sure you download the centos 7.0 and make sure you get the iso image that says everything because we need to get all the uh, packages this other standard um, uh, iso images for example this one they do not have the necessary packages which are required for clustering for example they miss the package uh, the pcs so please download the everything iso image so in this case this is the one which i'm pointing to because we are using rated 7.0 the exam is based on rated 7.0 if rated changes or updates to 7.1 or 7.2 the changes will be made available or will be announced officially on the rated uh, official website so that is why i recommend you before you take an exam or before you start preparing for this exam make sure you take a you take a tour to the reddit site and 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 check uh, what version the exam is based on so in this video um, i took a tour and show you the exam objectives I also show you where to download the ISO image by CentOS. Now I'd like to show you how to set up the lab. In GNS3, as you can see, this is how my lab looks like. So I have uh, basically it's five rated machines, but we'll be primarily focusing on three rated machines and uh, we'll add these other ones as we proceed or progress during our uh, uh, the course of the, uh, the material so on my left hand side here I have server 1 and its IP address here on my right hand side I have server 2 and its IP address and then I have in the middle is the IPA server and that's its IP address this IP server is the central server that will be uh, serving out the central uh, services such as DNS, YAM repository, uh, it could be mail, uh, mail services. Also, it will be configured as a iSCSI target. All these machines, or before before I proceed, uh, I've got client one and client two, and these two machines will be used later on. So, all these machines they all belong to the example.com and the example.com domain belongs to 192.168.15.0 slash 24 subnet so i need to show you if you are using gns3 i need to show you how you can add a second drive or second hard disk so the second hard disk will be added to ipa server so i just have to right click Go to configure and go to hard disk so under hdb primary disk that is my second hard disk so i need to create at least a 12 gig hard disk so that will be create and here i can say next yeah i can just say next here i can leave everything as default just click next and change the 30,000 to 12,000 because I need 12 gig so that will be 12,000 megabytes and then just click finish 
so as a matter of fact my second hard drive will be installed with the uh, 12 gig hard disk space so I just click ok so everything is set so I can switch on my appliance so in the next video we'll start configuring and um, these machines are off and this switch is off as well so we'll be primarily using these three machines so in the next video we'll start configuring and we'll take it from there so i'd like to thank you for watching and i hope this has been informative to you goodbye for now